Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Proverbs with Paul in the afternoon. And uh, it is a really cold afternoon, but the sun is bright and it looks quite nice. So praise the Lord for that. Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 8. A person will be praised according to his insight, but one of perverse mind will be despised. One of perverse mind will be despised. Such a contrast, isn't it, from the good and the bad, the right and the wrong, the righteous and the wicked. Where do you see yourself? Are you one who is struggling with the ability to walk right and talk right and think right and act right? Or are you empowered with the power of the Holy Spirit to do the things that you can't do yourself, that God's grace is flowing through your life? The Old Testament guys, they never had the freedom of the Holy Spirit's residence in them. And so they were constantly having with, live with this rebellious, sinful nature that was at work against the will and purposes of God. For Christians, we have been given the Holy Spirit to enable us to be everything that we tried to be before, but we couldn't be on our own. But now God has given to us his spirit. We can be because he is with us and therefore we can overcome all things. And so this tension in one sense <clears throat> isn't the same for us as it was for them. But a person of perverse mind, someone who has <clears throat> allowed themselves to become perverted, they have no capacity to be able to <clears throat> righteously hold fast to the pathway of good. In fact, they have chosen to take diversions, not just off the pathway that leads away from good, but they have chosen to make deep, deep tunnels into the darkest pit of evil deeds. They're perverted, they're perverse, they're twisted. Everything about them has drawn them away from God. And in one sense, the Old Testament guys were struggling with this without the kind of help that we have. And so should we blame them? Should we should we be so negative towards them? Well, in one sense, I don't think we should. And in other things, I think we can be. Because although they never had the spirit, they did have the law. <clears throat> but it was inevitable that they was always going to struggle and stay close to God on the basis of the law. Paul tells us later that the law assisted in identifying that they were lawbreakers, but it didn't give them the power to be able to resist the temptation to not do the wrong thing. Oh, thank you, Jesus, that you have given us by your spirit the empowering to do the right thing, that you prompt us daily to do the right thing. And so it goes on, and we compare that to the righteous, but the uh, um, but the one... But the person who uh, is righteous, that person is praised according to his insight. So now we might switch that and say the people who are righteous today are having the blessing of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, it's great that they're doing that. But then just think how righteous these ones were who were making the right choices, who were seeking after the good God way. And they were being successful in part. And so David... And Solomon and, and others in history have, have known the precious adulations from God towards their faithfulness to God. Our oh, brothers and sisters, we are so blessed in these days. May we appreciate our God. Hallelujah.